What do we got here? What do we got here? So LeBron James is using the in-season tournament as an excuse for being one and four after the tournament. Really? Though you do realize these mindless, pointless in-season games that you've been playing counted towards the regular season. The only game that didn't count was a championship game. Okay? Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. I don't, I don't like So for you to sit there and say, we're losing games because we're tired. You know, we're, we're beat up. Dog, this is what being a basketball player means, dummy. All right? If you played 82 games a season, you would know that. <laughs> but you mad because you have to play regular season games? Isn't that part of your job? See, this is the problem with LeBron James. You always got excuses for losing. This is why your name should be Lee Excuses as a nickname. Everything is an excuse. You get swept. Oh, I, was, I wasn't feeling good my old age. You lose a couple games. Oh, it's not, you know, it's not my fault. I got some stats. You know, what you want me to do? Dog, just play basketball. Simple. Your job is to go out there, play to the best of your ability each and every game. Like Iverson did. Like Jordan did. Like Kobe did. All the other players played basketball 24-7. All right? On a mind, basically. And they always had the intent of winning. So, why is losing got to be excusable for you? You celebrate mediocrity. You won a pointless in-season tournament. You hang up the banner. Well, are you saying that, hey, we're not going to win the championship, so the in-season tournament is the only thing we could possibly win? Now, a couple years from now, this name may ha me have a little more meaning to it, um, but that's going to be generations from now. Most people won't even probably be alive to see that. That's currently watching that, okay? And no will it ever have a seriously importance of winning an NBA championship. That's the real championships that you play for, all right? That's the real thing that make your legacy what it is. And you're lacking in that department. You are a bona fide, overachieving, losing superstar, just like Jerry West, all right? Just like Walt Chamberlain. You guys got good numbers. You got good stats. But at the end of the day, you can't really be relied on to win consistently. Now, no, we're going, I could sit there and get into depth to why you won some championships. I mean, we all know obviously why. You play with more superstars than anybody in modern NBA history. So you're supposed to be winning some championships. But one thing you're not supposed to be doing is underachieving. And stop using a fucking regular season games to why you're losing more regular season games. There was Where was this excuse when you was playing in this in-season tournament if you had lost the game? You wasn't playing any different than what you're supposed to play in any other regular season game. What does that mean? It's just another excuse. This is why I don't like about um, certain athletes that just use excuses for for things. Just say you lost, dog. And I'm not even sweating the losses like that, right? But if all you win is an in-season tournament and you don't even make it to the postseason because the West is deep, that's your problem. Maybe you should play more games. Maybe you should actually take them more seriously and close them out. Stop losing your age as an excuse. Stop using in-season tournaments as an excuse. Just play fucking basketball, dog. You know? Now, currently... You're still in, what, the play-in picture, right? No different from what you did last year, probably, all right? And listen, man, a couple weeks ago, you guys were sitting at, like, the sixth seed. So even if you lost a game or two, then you win some. I wouldn't make a big deal about it because if the playoffs was a start, you'd have still been a playoff team. But one thing's for sure that I don't tolerate is excuse-making. Just say you fucking lost. You get outplayed. You losing is not something new. We've seen it before. Countless times on the biggest stage there is. So, look, excuses should be the last name. You got nothing else to um 
try to protect. You know, your legacy don't need to be protected. It is what it is at this point. It's an underachieving legacy, but it's not going to increase by you making excuses. All it is is going to let your naysayers say even more uh, disrespectful shit towards you and lead to the point of more disrespect. Because as a competitor, a lot of people just don't respect a guy that continually make excuses for losing. It's on you, dog. Because if you won, you got full credit for it. So if you lose, you got to get uh, responsibility of that too. Stop bitching. I'm out. Peace.